<laughs> okay, and now for the amazing rest of the story. I, I cannot believe it. This right here, these missing beautiful animals right here, Hannah and I found them today. <laughs> they found us, we found them, you know. They're just running, running on the beach way up by the bank and way up north on the peninsula. Like, cause we traveled super far north today, uh, farther than we've, you know, traveled before. And um, we had seen that picture at the mini mart where I stopped to get a little Arizona iced tea. <laughs> and I took note of them. I said to Hana, hey, wouldn't that be neat if we found these pups today? And then we did. And uh, also I found an entire silver or a entire sand dollar, but it's like a dragonfly sand dollar. <laughs> uh, yep. And um, so we pull up to the pups Hannah's barking, trying to get her to calm down a little bit. Far enough away to give them room. Kind of called them from the car at first, make sure they weren't rabid and freaked out. I saw them hanging out with a large group of people who were clamming and also had other dogs. So I thought that they were with them and then therefore not the two dogs on the picture. Uh, these are very particular looking dogs which did make it easier and I love dogs so much which makes it easier but Hana spotted them right after I also spotted a small camp where somebody's living on the beach I thought maybe the dogs were theirs for a moment too you know and then I realized no and I'm like no these are definitely the dogs I'm pretty sure and if not I'll take them to shelter, et cetera, et cetera. We'll get them taken care of. Because the lab bull mix, lab pit bull mix, oh, her ribs were showing she was starving. It'd been several days, it looked like, obviously since they'd eaten, and I found it'd been three or four days now since they had eaten. Yeah. So going up on a hungry dog also uh, can be uh, dangerous. Um, you don't know what kind of mood or state they're in. And you really got to be super careful. So number one was, don't scare him away. Right, Hana? Don't scare him away. But here's Hana in the back window. Woo, woo. <laughs> like, what are these dogs doing? She's not mad. She's not, you know, she's just so excited and being like, hey, dogs, what are you doing? Out? What are you doing? Oh, my God. Look, dogs, what are you doing, dogs? Oh, my God. You know, and... And, but of course it doesn't sound like that to most humans. I think most humans think, you know, Hana probably sounds like, um, she wants to tear their head off, but that's an entirely different type of sound. Every dog has their different marks. And to me, you have to look at the other animals and how they're responding to her more than how I'm or other humans are responding to her. And it just so happens that these two pups did not respond negatively to Hana barking. I thought she was being controlling and kind of going after them, but she wasn't. She was just greeting them, which actually drew them towards the vehicle a little bit as I rolled her window down a little so they could see that she was there too. Hana calmed down. I roll my window down, I call them over, I got a water bottle, I hold it out the window, I poured water on the ground a little, I poured some on my hand a little, and then I went ahead and opened the door, gently, slowly, I got out, I got down low, but also ready to protect myself. I also had the hand on Hannah's door handle so she could back me up, and I, I got down, put my hand out like this, and then I poured some water on my hand. I got low, I took subservient. The lab came over smiling. You should have seen the look of relief. Oh my Lord. 
Um, she had a little lick from the tiny little cap in the water, but not much. And then she kind of was like, I don't know, I don't know. And the German Shepherd was a little bit more skittish, you know, a little back still. So I went ahead and let Hannah down. I went to open the door and said, Hannah, let's say hi. And I had myself in a good place to be able to protect or separate by, you know, I noticed they had harness. Another one had a collar. So I'm doing all this checking of details of these animals while I'm also going through this whole thing. I'm looking at how uh, starved they look or not, how, what kind of attitude they're showing me, facial features, ears, tails, rear legs, haunch, stat, like movement, everything. You gotta watch all of it and capture it in like just a few seconds or you, they might just, you know, shoot off on you or attack you. Anyway, I could feel that and I just let it go. I was super calm and chill. Hana got right down, stopped barking, greeted them. They all did a three-way face. Oh, da, 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 da. I gave them all gentle pets like everybody's so good to have you here as friends. There was this little bit of excitement and relief, a tiny bit of quick play. And then I was like, let's get in the via. Let's go for a ride, yay. Let's go see mom, dad. Gotta stick with the momentum threw the doors open, <coughs> took just a little bit of coaxing, Hana got in and out, the lab tried, the German Shepherd kind of tried, but it wouldn't open up the back, stood back a little bit again, come on, let's go for a ride, wanna have some fun? Wanna get some food, wanna get dinner, wanna, uh, mom, wanna see dad, like, and then boom, lab jumped in, boom, German Shepherd jumped in, little pups, and then I gently closed the door and then the lab curled right up immediately and laid down <laughs> and I could hear her just sigh. And the German Shepherd was like up and down, up and down, up and down. And then finally relaxed. And Hana was like giving me these looks like, what is this all about? We don't, we don't just pick up random dogs when we go out. What's, what is going on? What is, what is this about? Are they safe? Ooh, they smell bad, Dad. <laughs> like, it was funny. And then Hannah was like, oh, look at what we're doing. She got on board, too. She's like, oh, my goodness, we're safe. Like, she knew what was up, too. She's been smiling the whole time, also. We're a couple heroes today. And so we got back, and guess what? We made the phone call. We got a hold of the people. Oh, there was a couple different numbers, because some are from Woodland. Some are from this area up here. And, um... <laughs> the relatives uh, friend, uh, came they were up at the Oysterville approach looking for the dogs again today and they've been searching for them every day and uh, different people driving down taking long drives to the beach all this stuff trying to find them and just not just not having any success whatsoever oh my goodness can you I mean like can you believe it how blessed how blessed are we today and then if you watch this long, here's the most amazing part of all this for me, okay? The woman, the older woman who uh, whose family visited and lost the dogs. Um, her husband was lost in Laos, Laos. In Vietnam. <clears throat> uh, she had a family of children, and, and uh, anyway, she's a Gold Star veteran. She's a Gold Star veteran family, and her father also had served. Her father had also served before. Yeah, and uh, anyway, it really. It's pretty amazing to, uh, you know, be a veteran myself and uh, <laughs> to have found and reunited uh, these dogs, these puppies with their whole family structure. Um, a gold star uh, family. And so, rest in peace to those. Serving the U.S. Armed Forces, <clears throat> and uh, I'm happy this veteran was in the right place today. 
and so are they. All right.